Many friends here. <laughs> Ibada guapo. <laughs> hey, Bombo, I'm really happy that you are here. Uh, I want to talk to you. Uh, I want to ask you very important questions. Mm. Because you now, uh, before even you were a child, you were already celebrity. Uh, your father of your father is a president. Now you are yourself a congressman. That's right. Yes, uh, so we talk about important serious matter. If you want, yes. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite color? <laughs> Huh? And my favorite color is oh. blue. Blue? Oh. blue? Why blue? I don't know. I suppose uh, it's just something I, I picked up in England while I was in England. You know? Ah, you were in England? They are particularly uh, oh. uh, sympathetic to the color blue for some reason. And how is it studying in England? What's the difference between the school system in England and PDP? Number one is very, very cold in, in England. Uh, it gets very cold in the winter. And oh. The system is, is very different uh, oh. because more intensive you, you have to board you have to be in the dorm and um, you study not the, the, the whole day until the evening the whole day you the study day, yes. oh. uh, and it's all supervised uh, by what do you study about how to get out of this school <laughs> <laughs> yes. so what did you finish in England I finished the uh, studies in politic politics philosophy and economics Politics, philosophy, philosophy and economics. economics. It's the name of the course. It's really ah. called PP and D. It's a four-year course. Three-year course. Three because year course. The, the university courses in England are three years. Oh, uh, that the English girl, very nice English girl. There, some of them are. Uh, nice. yeah, yeah. Did you have girlfriend in England when you were <laughs> there? Tell me, did you have girlfriend? Uh, that's a state secret. <laughs> <laughs> state secret. Hey, I'll tell you, okay. Who's your favorite actor? I mean, my favorite actor right now, the Filipino especially, I like Robin Padilla. Robin Padilla? He's great, yeah. Uh, really? Yeah. In spite of all the trouble he that's, came that's into? Off, that's off the screen, I don't oh. know about that, but I think uh, he projects a very interesting image. In, oh, uh, as a common man. And yes, uh, in, as a in, common in man. Movies, yes. okay. And I know him too, he he's, he's, uh, seems to be an okay guy. Uh, okay. Oh, what's your favorite flower? <laughs> What's your favorite flower? Uh, I, I'm, I'm partial to roses. Roses? <laughs> so, Why you like roses? I don't know. That's what the ladies seem to like. <laughs> <laughs> so you give the roses? Yes. Okay, who is your favorite? Uh, uh, how many girlfriends did you have before you got married? Another state secret. <laughs> Another state secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe your wife is watching. <laughs> maybe she's watching. Now. <laughs> in St. Delena, you married already, no? I married. I've been married for uh, just over a year. Oh. I and, see. Uh, we've had a, a, a baby boy last March, uh -huh. and he's, we've named him Ferdinand Alexander. Why, why Alexander? Alexander the Great? Because of Alexander the Great. Uh -huh. he, he's, uh, he was a great hero of my father's and eventually oh. of mine. Oh. So I thought it would be ideal to name him after Alexander. Ferdinand Alexander. Alexander, yeah. Oh, hey, that's nice, huh? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's talk trivia matter now. Okay. Uh, this are too much of the serious <laughs> matter. Let's talk trivia matter. Uh, what are you doing for your province, Ilocos, as congressman? Oh, I don't think that's so trivial. That's probably the most important thing. Oh, really? That's important. Oh, okay. That's important. Okay, let's talk about important. What are you doing for Ilocos? Well, what we are trying to do is, is uh, Ilocos is still based in agricultural uh, oh. development. Uh, that's our economy. And we have to move it more towards light industry, like food processing and things oh. like that. And secondly, I am looking very uh, hard at alternatives to tobacco. Oh. Because the tobacco um, market in the world is very, very crowded, especially oh. the Chinese have come in, the, PRP, the Philipp, uh, People's Republic have come into the world market very strongly and getting oh, they, they raise tobacco also in China? Tobacco, China is the largest producer and consumer of, of tobacco. Of tobacco. Oh. <clears throat> then now they've entered the market, the price is very low, so it... And I think the health consciousness is also going to be a uh, yeah, effect on, this, on tobacco. This, this jive on cigarette is smoking, yeah. right? Maybe it will, maybe, I don't know if it will, but maybe it will affect our, our sales, so... We have to find alternative uh, mm. uh, livelihoods, alternative crops, alternative uh, uh, agri agricultural products uh, so that we can 
we can prepare ourselves for what might be a declining uh, this world market. This tobacco uh, industry in Iroquois, how much percent is this contributing to income oh, of Iroquois? It, it, the tobacco industry oh. is, per, is probably the uh, single largest industry. In oh. So maybe eighty percent of all income of Not, Iroquois. I don't think quite. We also we also grow garlic. We also oh. grow onions. Oh. Uh, so we have and, and now we oh. have grow, We started growing uh, oh. tomatoes. So, oh. uh, but still the, the the large majority, more than half, comes from tobacco. From tobacco. Yeah. Oh, you should grow onion more. Yes, yes, oh. we we should try and but oh. the, you see the product the um, profitability of tobacco is really very much higher than the it's higher it's much higher than oh. the other products oh. what yeah uh, probably we like onion obviously yes it, i think in, they say even in the people who belong to the striking uh, in, in strike uh, in onion there is strength <laughs> <laughs> that's why you might have onion very good for the health <laughs> i'll keep that in mind <laughs> oh, in onion there is strength. okay next thing uh, uh, you, you look like I don't know how you you look like your father or your mother. Uh, wh wh when I was when I was younger, everybody said that I look like my look like my mother. You look like your mother. But now more and more people say I, I remind them uh. of my father. So I, I really don't know. I, I uh. think maybe my uh, physical um, face looks a little like my mother, uh. but my mannerisms maybe might be a little, look, look little like more father. like my father. Yeah. Is, 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 is the uh, the saying true to you? Uh, kung in Tagalog they mm. say. Oh, I know, ang puno siya ang bunga. Oh yes, I believe so. You believe so? I believe so because the English, the English have a uh, saying that have the same has the same uh, thrust that oh. the fruit does not fall far from the tree, and I the think fruit does not fall far from the tree. Yes, so it's pretty nice. Huh? Yes, it's a similar sentiment, and oh. I, I I think it oh. is so. So what 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 of your father are you? Uh, what what things of your father did you get, and what of your mother did you get? I don't know. I think uh, uh, what from my father I got the uh, love of uh, books and study. I think uh, is what I got from my from my father. He uh, taught me very much that uh, it's important to always be learning, to be always uh, trying to improve your mind, uh, and also to be. Uh, he would also always talk about the perfect mind in a perfect body was the idea. Perfect mind. Mm. Oh, so he would tell me to study hard and exercise and then oh. keep myself in good shape, etc., etc. Oh. My mother taught me how to appreciate perhaps the more human face. Oh, like, like buying a lot of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that that is my mother's particular interest. A joke only. <laughs> okay, what, what, what of your mother's state did you get? As, as I said, I think she taught me to appreciate the more human side of, uh, oh. of uh, yeah, the human experience, oh. and it's always she she can always find a, a good thing and a, a, a nice thing to say or to see oh. in someone. And that that oh, is a, a quality that, that oh. I, I hope to emulate. Oh. Hey, Bombo, this is uh, maybe theoretical only. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, you're now congressman mm -hmm. of uh, Ilocos, no? Ilocos, because you are Marcos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now, in in, uh, in the light of the HR revolution and all that thing, uh, uh, maybe you won't only because you run in Ilocos. Mm. Uh, what if you run in Tarlac, maybe? Did, would you win in Tarlac? I'm not qualified uh, to run in Tarlac. <laughs> <laughs> in, well, uh, it's in, um, in uh, Batak. But uh, I don't know. I mean, if I, had, if, I, if I was allowed to spend time in Tarlac, oh. if I was allowed to meet uh, with the leaders and would talk you, to the people. Would you have won in Tarlac? I would uh, take my chances. Oh, I will. would certainly take my chances oh. as long as it's a straight and even race. I don't. Uh, oh. I don't think there's there's any need to uh -huh. be afraid of anybody. Yeah. Hey, speaking about taking chances, I heard some rumor that you're running for senator. I heard the same rumors. Too. You heard it also. <laughs> <laughs> we both heard the same rumor. The same rumor. <laughs> okay. It's, it came from these uh, listings that the people made of oh. the lineups, oh. and uh, sinasama nila ako. So I, I'm very flattered, oh. of course, and. And it's something that many people have brought up and uh, have said that I should think about. So, so according to what you have, you and I heard the rumor. Uh, tell me, is that rumor true? I don't know yet. We don't know yet. Uh, uh, we're the, you know, this is something that we must think about uh, very hard. It's not. It's a very serious decision. Uh, uh, being a senator is a very serious undertaking, and and the campaign towards that is also very. What's like that mean? Uh, you don't mind if I ask you how old you are? I am now 36. 36. 36. And you have uh, children already? I have a son. I have a son. He's, we named him for his uh, yeah, okay. Alexander. Yeah. Now, you have a son, huh? And uh, your son will grow up to be a citizen of the Philippines. Definitely. Okay. Now, I don't think the Philippines is a very good society now. 
because uh, many people palusot palusot. Yes, oh, yeah, huh? no problem ah, natin. Kanya kanya. Oh, oh. Even politician, excuse me, some politician, they only think of themselves. They don't think of the country. Uh, so children will grow up. So what do you think is the problem? I think it's a problem. It's an attitude problem. Attitude yeah. problem. But I think it's going to change. I really believe that. I, I when I go around the Philippines, I talk to especially the younger people. Oh. And in the, the politics, even politicians, the, the attitude is changing. They are no longer so interested in, in uh, personal ambition. They're so no longer so interested in partisan politics. They're more interested in, in actually serving their communities. Oh, and really? actually doing something for their neighbors, really doing oh. something for, their, for their, um, the, their loved ones. And I really am very gratified to see this development. And I just hope it, it continues to develop. And I hope it continues to grow, oh. and I hope it becomes a serious political movement. Are you, uh, are you really serious that this, you know, I think it's the politics that's getting this country too into much, a lot of problems. Too much politics. Uh, too, too much, much politics, politics yeah. I mean, people are so preoccupied by the maneuvering, oh. by the partisan uh, oh. thing, and you know, so you, you tend to spend less time on actual thinking about the administration oh. of your office, oh. and the providing services to, uh, to the people. It is something that we, we really should get past. And I think it's also this, this new new attitude I'm talking about. Oh. I think it comes from a slow, slowly, slow maturing of, of oh. our of our population. How can you make it fast maturing? So that we should, by, by, by showing people that there is a better way. Sasapakita natin na meron tayong maaaring gawin na hindi tayo kagayan ng dati at it works better than oh. the old way. Like what is kagayan ng dati? Ano ba ang kaya dati? I, I think you, still... you, you, you have experience on that since your father was in the, in the past uh, Philippine scenario of politics. Yeah, but you see the, the, the problem now is that the, the Philippines is a different place. The world oh. is a different place. Iba na ang mundo ngayon. Iba oh. na ang Pilipino ngayon. Square na ang mundo ngayon. Iba na, iba na. Hindi na tayo tayo. We cannot see the world in the same view as my father did or the previous oh. leaders. Again. We have to find new answers. Oh. We have to find new solutions. We cannot insist on the old solutions because oh. as we can see, it's not... Wala nangyari. Oh. Hindi talaga oh. hindi umuubra. At oh. least kung noon umuubra, ngayon hindi na oh. pwede. So oh. we have to think of something new. And I think that... The, I think that all Filipinos are coming around and to this to this new idea that uh, politics is not is not a selfish game. Politics, oh. in fact, is the most un should be oh. the most unselfish uh, undertaking that you could possibly uh, embark on. What do you think of um, movie actors and actors going into politics? I, I feel as long as they have a, a honest uh, desire to serve. Oh then certainly if the people want them to come and, 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 and be the representatives, who is, who is anybody to say that oh. they are not supposed to be there? If the, that's what the people oh. want, then that's what they... But uh, we should also recognize that uh, there are other people, public servants, who are not so prominent, mm. who are doing a very, very hard job and are doing it very, very well uh, with very little reward. And uh, they should, their experience and mm. their skill and expertise should also be rewarded. You know, according to our writer, Noel Bamaseda and Tut Saveyana, mm. Philippine sin, uh, society is only PBA. That's the pastime of uh, Filipino, PBA. Politica, basketball, artista. <laughs> uh, so that you can interchange one another. Politicians want to be artista. Some of them are appearing in movies. Artista want to be politician. You say same with basketball player. I, I think maybe uh, the artista coming into politics is oh. per perhaps a little understandable because it's a human uh, oh. sentiment. But the politicians wanting to become actors, I, I would never. Hindi ako marunong marte. Hindi ba pareho ng puhuna niya? Puhuna ng artista, puhuna ng puritsyo ko, tao ba yan? Yun na, totoo yan. There is maraming similarity yan. But pag sa dating na sa trabaho, Alimbawa, oh. pag nakatapat yung camera sa akin, hindi ko alam kung anong oh. gagawin ko. Oh. And in like manner, siguro, kailangan matuto din sila oh. na paano pa magpapatakbo oh. ng pisina. Like the last Manila Film Fest. <laughs> Naku! Di ba? Oh, malaking gulo yun. Malaking gulo. Kasi siguro yung artista training na to be politician. <laughs> Nandadaya na sila. <laughs> yeah, ayos na. <laughs> Counting Masa wrong votes. <laughs> Masa masama yata ang training. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's been uh, very nice to talk to you, Wong Wong. Huh? The thing I get from you from this interview is uh, why you should change.
value should definitely change. Change, change. and the, in your eye, the Philippines is changing. I think the the the, the, the attitudes are, are are beginning to change, to beginning to evolve in the proper okay. way, and I'm glad it's good to see. And uh, I hope that uh, everyone out there involves themselves. Mm -hmm. Maka alam kayo lahat. This is important. This is your government. This is your country. This is your life. Please involve yourselves. We need all the help we can get in government. Hey, just one last question. Yes, this is speaker de Venezia. Uh, he speaks like your father, even the gesture. Uh, he has some mannerisms that uh, are a little it, uh, similar. Yeah, he's yeah. even more makos than bombong makos. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's entirely possible. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, a good interview with our guest, uh, Ferdinand Bombo Macos Jr. from Irocos Republic. <laughs> Thank you very much.